We're now installing the Unix agent. This process is similar to Windows. We install an agent on the AWI system. In the real world, this makes absolutely no sense, but the system is already networked and it means we don't have to spin another virtual image. So we're just pretending this is an independent Linux system. The TLS certificate is already there. Then we configure the agents. We add the settings in the INI file. Then we'll start the agents and watch it connect to AE and AWI. Finally, we have to install TLS Gateway. This is installed and configured exactly the same way as an agent, so we won't show it. Just understand that TLS Gateway provides translation services for file transfers between TLS agents like Windows, Unix, and Java agents, and non-TLS like AS400 and VMS. We have to have this component. If you're interested in knowing more about TLS Gateway, we have a dedicated course in our version 21 catalog. In the architecture diagram, we're installing an agent on the AWI host. The agent communicates with the AE server using connection settings in the INI file and requires the TLS certificate. We're also installing the TLS gateway on the Windows host. At this point, you should be familiar with all of this. We create a directory for the agent. Then we copy the install package to that directory. Then we unzip it on tar. We have to configure the agents. First, we rename the agent INI. There's a slight variation here. The INI is called ucxjxxx.ori.ini, which doesn't match the name of the agent process. Make sure you give it the process name with the extension. In other words, ucxjlx6. The agent process must be owned by roots for one simple reason. It has to carry out certain high-level tasks on the operating system. While the rest of the file system can be owned by the standard atomic user, the agent process itself is always owned by roots. Finally, we set the mode to 4755 for the process. This makes it executable by everyone, which is a requirement for the agent to work. We configure the INI, the settings are the same as for the Windows agents. We need an agent name, the system name, which has to match AE, the connection settings, and finally TLS settings. We start the agent and show it connect to AE and AWI. You can also add the agent to the service manager's UC4 SMD and SMC file so we can manage it as a service. TLS Gateway provides translation services between TLS and non-TLS agents so that they can transfer files. While not technically an agent, it installs and is configured exactly like one. You can follow the procedure we just described either on Windows or Unix.